In this video, we're going to combine two topics, converting to base 10 and converting from base 10. By converting to and from base 10, we can convert from one base to another base by using base 10 as a stepping stone. So suppose we had the number 2301, and that was base 5, and we want to convert that to base, I don't know, pick a base. You know, you realize I can't hear you, so it really doesn't matter. Sorry. We'll say base 8. Alright. So what we first do is we go from base 5 to 10, and then from 10 to 8. Here we go. Let's do 5 to 10. Remember to go from 5 to 10. We multiply by the position. The 1 is in the 5 to the 0 column. The 0 is in the 5 to the 1st column. The 3 is in the 5 to the 2nd column. And the 2 is in the 5 to the 3rd column. So to convert 2 base 10, we'll have 2 times 5 cubed plus 3 times 5 squared plus 0 times 5 to the 1st, which really is not going to do anything, plus 1 times 5 to the 0. This gives us a grand total of 326. And notice I pronounced that 326 because this is technically base 10. Alright, and now we're going to take our 326 and change it to base 8. So remember to go to a different base from base 10. This is where we divide. So we first find our powers of 8. 8 to the 0 is 1. 8 to the first is 8. 8 squared is 64. And 8 cubed is 512. It's too much. Because again, we're converting 326. So we'll take our 326. Divide it by 64. That occurs 5 times. Remainder 6. And I'm actually glad this happened because this next line is very tricky for some people. Process is you take your remainder and divide it by the next power. 6 divided by 8. Well, 8 doesn't go into 6, so that would be 0. What's the remainder going to be? Wait for it. The remainder is still 6 because you still have that 6 left over because nothing was taken out. So please be careful when you have a zero here. The remainder stays the same. So now we'll do six divided by one, which occurs six times, the remainder zero, nothing left over. So again, we met our qualifications. We used all our powers of eight, and we ended with a remainder of zero. So two, three, zero, one, base five, is the same thing as 506 base 8. And that's how you go from one base to another. Use a base 10 as a stepping stone.